guys, it's Liv. Today I'm doing a little bit of a different video where I will be trying out some Pinterest Valentine's Day type of recipes and let you know how they work out so you guys can see if you want to try them out as well. So that is everything I have to say for now. Let's get into the video. The first thing we're making is chocolate bowls. So basically the idea is you blow up a balloon and you melt some chocolate and then you dip the balloon in the chocolate so that it's covering like half the balloon and it forms a bowl shape and then you let it harden and then you pop the balloon and you are left with a chocolate bowl and I've seen this everywhere all over Pinterest and I've always wanted to try it so today is the day I have some balloons and some chocolate so let's test this one out I'm gonna need you to blow me up a balloon the first thing we have to do is melt chocolate so I don't really know how much to do. I'm making probably only one bowl to test it out. So I'll do maybe like a cup of chocolate. And these are just regular dairy-free chocolate chips. I got them online. I just got my boyfriend to blow up this balloon because I'm wearing lipstick. He blew it up about this big and it has this little point, but I don't think that'll be a huge issue. I hope not. Okay, the water is starting to simmer, so I'm going to put the bowl on top of here. I'm also just going to add a little bit of coconut oil to help it melt because adding a little bit of fat can just like help speed up the process. I don't know why. Basically, I'm just stirring this up, getting the coconut oil all melted. So you want to keep the water simmering, but you definitely don't want there to be steam coming out because then water can get in the chocolate and cause it to seize. We're almost there. So you can see the chocolate's pretty good. So now we have the chocolate, and I have this little pan with some non-stick foil in it. Because I'm only doing one balloon, this is perfect, but if you are doing multiple, then you'll want, obviously, a big pan to put them on. I'm scared it's gonna pop. Do it. Okay, so I'm going to put a little spoonful of chocolate here to make, um, like the base stand for the bowl. This is harder than you would think. Yeah. I mean, more like a chocolate plate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna put it down on here. Stay. And I'm gonna go put this in the fridge and let it harden. I don't know how long. Okay, so the next one we're making is the little chocolate covered strawberry hearts. But basically, what it says you have to do is put strawberries together with a toothpick and then dip them in chocolate. These ones are kind of the same shape. I did the double boiler thing again, but this time I just put it on a flatter plate so that I could dip the strawberries in the chocolate. So, I don't know how you're supposed to dip these. Jeez, oh, that's falling out. Okay. I feel like this is one of those things that like looks cool on Pinterest, but doesn't actually work. Oh my god. Maybe it'll look like a heart on one side. This is really stupidly difficult. Go. Okay. We got something. Maybe if it like drips down, it'll be like the point. I don't get it. I see the idea behind it, but this is just not practical. I mean, it's cute, but it kind of looks like crap. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think they look nice? Today's optional question of the day is, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? And if you live somewhere where it's not really celebrated, I totally understand because it's kind of a stupid holiday. But if you are doing something fun, then let me know in the comments below. Even if that is just eating chocolate alone and watching Netflix, that's totally cool too. What are we doing for Valentine's Day? Probably eating chocolate together and watching Netflix. <laughs> eating chocolate together and watching Netflix. I like that. Okay. <laughs> Here you go. Wow. But theirs was all smooth. I don't know how they got them smooth. Give these to my special Valentine. Okay. It's time to test the strawberries. 
We'll go with this one first. Oh wait, maybe we can pull the tooth back out. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I really like it. Yeah. It just tastes like a chocolate dipped strawberry. Yeah. So why wouldn't you just make regular chocolate dipped strawberries? Because they're hearts. <laughs> this doesn't look like a heart. They're good though. Mm. Okay, we weren't recording, but I realized that it did come off. So if you use non-stick foil, it works really well. It looks like it's gonna come off. So I'm just gonna get something to pop the balloon. Apart from ripping a hole in the bottom, which I will mend with some chocolate, um, it looks like crap, just like everything else I made today. And it's melting on my fingers. Uh, and there's a hole in the bottom. So I'm not gonna put anything in this because uh, if anybody tries this, let me know if yours works better. It's a cool idea and it has worked for people. Like lots of people on Pinterest make these, but I just, and it melts really quickly. <laughs> just ripped a hole in the other side. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different from what I normally do, but leave a comment below letting me know how you liked it. Also, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys next time.